Welcome back, I'm Shane and this is Relative Time. And today I want to quickly go over what might be one of the best budget fleegers I've run across. And at the same time is also a good example of why it can be a little frustrating to review some AliExpress watches. And I'll talk more about that at the end. Now back in June I was talking to Tom who's a subscriber. And he was recommending I try a specific Rios 1931 strap. But the watch he showed the strap off on was a steel dive flieger from AliExpress. And that's something he also recommended. So I wound up buying both, and Tom was right on the money with each. Now I believe Steel Dive is a newer brand on AliExpress, as I don't remember hearing about them last year. And from my experience with this one, I'd say that their quality is pretty good. Maybe a little bit less than San Martin, but one I wouldn't mind getting again. Now prices always vary with these, but I think you'll find these fleegers usually around a hundred bucks, give or take. There are a few different color options, as well as a multitude of straps, as well as one bracelet. And at the time I ordered, they even had a sterile version, which was devoid of any logo on the dial, as well as the crown on the case back. And that's the version I wound up going with, as I thought the Steel Dive logo was a little bit over the top and maybe a bit odd on a pilot's watch. So the best way to describe this watch spec-wise is that it's fairly average. You're looking at a 39mm wide watch without and 42mm wide with the crown, which means it should be a good fit for most people. Yet the lug to lug is a little bit longer than I would expect at 49, and I think that makes it wear just a little bit larger than you'd expect, but still ideal for your average sized wrist. Now total thickness is also at 12.8, so again it's kind of average. It's not terribly thin, but it's not overly tall either. And overall it does have a good solid feel in the hand at 75 grams. But the really surprising thing here is that it has 200 meters of water resistance. Or at the very least it does on paper, as I didn't test it out myself. And that for a pilot's watch, as well as having a screwed down crown, is pretty good. Now rounding everything out, you have a 20mm lug width, Seiko NH35A movement, and a flat sapphire crystal. So pretty much everything you might want, and at a surprisingly good price. And that right there is why some people really love AliExpress watches, as you just get a hell of a lot of bang for your buck here. The overall finishing is pretty good, and has a definitive tool watch look, as every inch is sporting a brushed finish where it has a linear brushing on the side and a circular brushing on the top, and that does continue to the clean bezel. On this sterile version, the closed case back as well as the screwed down crown are, well, sterile, which does look a little blank, but the named versions should have the appropriate branding. Now, overall, it's fairly comfortable on the wrist, as it just seems to hit the sweet spot in terms of size and weight, or, at least it eventually will hit that sweet spot once the stock strap breaks in. The strap is really the only complaint I have with this one. There are a lot of different options to get, but I got the brown leather one. And to be perfectly honest, this is perfectly appropriate for a $100 watch. It's just that I find it a little plasticky and really, really stiff. So there is going to be a fair amount of break-in period on this one but my recommendation would be just to swap it out from the get-go. The dial on this black version is a matte charcoal gray, but if you do want a bit more flash, then the sunburst blue looks pretty good in pictures. Now, nothing is applied and it's all painted on, and this is a Type A Flieger design with hours instead of minutes on the dial. So far, I don't think I've seen one that's a Type B where it has the minutes. As this is a typical Flieger, you have the triangle at the 12, and all of the indices have an off yellow color to them, while the chapter ring is mostly white. And that against the matte backdrop really winds up emulating a chalkboard-like appearance, which winds up having a ton of contrast. You can't get much more contrasty than black and white. And topping everything off, you have a traditional pilot-style hands and white stick second hand. The hour hand may be a tad short, but overall they're both pretty good. And as a whole, the watch is just really easy to read and easy to use. 
which is sort of the point of any military style watch. Now, remember at this price, there's got to be a compromise somewhere. And I think you can see that in these macro shots. The dial is fairly flat. There's no real sense of depth here. And the simple cutout of the date is just that. As well as there's a slight rough edge on the hands. But that rough edge isn't really something you ever see in person. And considering the price, I think it's pretty good for what it is. Now, loom on this one is surprisingly good. It's initially very bright, and I do love that the Arabics light up as well. Although they do fade out rather quickly, but the hands keep going on and on, and for the most part, they're able to keep up with the Seiko Turtle. So overall, the watch is pretty good, and as a whole, it's actually impressive at what you can get sometimes for such a low price. And as for the movement, we have your standard workhorse of a Seiko NH35A. Standard beat rate, 41 hour power reserve, hacking, and hand winding. Pretty much your go to movement for anything under 400 bucks. So, nothing really to complain about on this one, but if I really was gonna nitpick anything, I'd say that the overall design and the lack of depth really give this watch a rather generic feel. And that's something I'd probably say about the case as well. There's nothing visually interesting or surprising going on with it. So again, it's just kind of generic. But I think there's a very valid argument in saying that a Flieger should be rather generic, as it is a pure tool watch, and that is kind of inherent in the design. Even higher-end Fliegers tend to all look the same. For those higher-end ones, it's more about the beauty of the execution and the history of the brand that is the real attraction. So if you tend to follow that logic, then this is exactly what it's supposed to be, and it's kind of hard to fault it for that. Now, unfortunately, there is a little bit of a complication with this one, as one of the issues with AliExpress watches in general is that brands aren't always the most reliable or the most consistent. And this is what makes reviewing them kind of frustrating at times, as every once in a while, you're going to run across a watch that's had some sort of change, and that's going to be shortly before or shortly after you get a review out. And that's pretty much the case with this one. As far as I can tell with this one, the changes are rather cosmetic, as it seems like most of the steel dive fliegers out there have now switched to a different style of hands. And some people might actually prefer those hands instead of these. But as far as I can tell from looking at the specs, it is the exact same watch, it's just a little bit of a different look. However, to add even more confusion to all of this, I actually ran across the watch being sold with a different name as well. And that's one called Addies. Not really sure if that's an improvement over Steel Dive, but Addies also has a pretty over the top logo. Yet for whatever reason, those Addies versions have the exact same hands as the one I have. And just to double check, I did ask one of the sellers if these are the same watch, and they did confirm it's the same one with just a different set of hands. So it's kind of funny that in some ways, this watch represents both what people love and hate about AliExpress. There are definitely some better Fliegers out there, but for close to 100 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat the value this one represents. And that's really why some people love AliExpress and the AliExpress watches. Yet those occasional minor changes and the confusion over the branding and sometimes really having to hunt down what you want is also why some people just flat out avoid AliExpress. So just kind of is what it is here. Now, if you are looking for a Flieger and you're looking for one closer to the $200 range, I'd easily advise you more towards the San Martin ones or even check out Mark's line of Islanders over at Long Island Watch. I haven't seen them personally, but I hear a lot of good things about them. And if nothing else, Mark should give you better customer service and have a whole lot more reliable shipping. But this one as a whole is still a great budget Flieger, and especially if you're curious and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. And hands down, I think it is one of the best $100 watches I've run across. So if you are interested in it, I'll have a few links below to the various versions. And if I find any of the sterile ones, I'll have a link to those as well. And those will be affiliate links where the channel will get a small commission if you get something. But in all seriousness, just shop around and see who has the best price. 
There are so many stores on AliExpress and the prices do vary, and especially so with the sale coming up, so just find the best price you can on it. Anyway, that's my take on the Steel Dive Flieger, but let me know down below what you think about this watch, or if you think it's better to just jump right into a German Flieger, let me know that as well. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, you all know what to do down below. Till next time.